Good morning. It's Friday. Mm. Friday morning and uh, a uh, nice morning. Great coffee today. Oh my gosh, just uh, fantastic. I, I couldn't have uh, couldn't have asked for any better coffee. It was really good. Today I was going to be uh, doing or covering doing the uh, uh, the live broadcast on uh, procrastination, but I'm gonna do that one later some other time uh right now we are going to be doing one on making life choices so we're going to be sharing that link right now on our comments so today we're going to be talking about quotes about making life choices now could be big could be small could be un inconsequential could be very consequential uh either way we've got to make choices every single day right so the article by Lydia Sweat on success.com, which I just put on the comment, says, Life is made up of an infinite amount of choices. Most decisions, such as what you'll eat for lunch today, are small and only slightly impactful. But it's the big decisions, the ones that can change your life forever, that are tough to make. If you choose to confront the options before, uh, before you with courage and confidence, you open yourself to a fulfilling path of your own design, filled with numerous possibilities, rather than procrastinate in fear of making the wrong decision weigh your options and act on the best one revel in the chance to create the life you want to live very well said uh, so to inspire your next big decision here's some insightful quotes to get you going all right it's a good way to start <clears throat> and we start off with carrie russell actress i believe from um, felicity and uh, mission impossible one of the mission impossible movies and more, I'm sure. Uh, sometimes it's the smallest decisions that can change your life forever. Could be. Could be. Uh, I mean, things have been written, movies have been made about that one decision, that one sliding door that closes in front of you that makes you take another uh, route. That one action that you make, the one decision, the one action that you take, the one decision you make that changes the course of your life forever and sometimes it's something you decide you know you decide whether or not you want to continue working where you're working living where you're living attending the school that you're attending taking the class that you're taking uh, you could say oh, i'm already in here i gotta stick to it blah blah or saying you know what this is not for me it's not for me I, I i'm gonna go elsewhere how many times have you heard of people changing their majors in college you know so sometimes it's the smallest decisions that can change your life forever and that could be just as simple also as making a decision to not be a, a doormat anymore you know not be the person that people walk all over not not being the person that oh you know that kowtows to everybody you know where you you decide to take a stand you decide to represent yourself and you decide your value and your worth to to forge ahead in your own decisions in your own life and you shaping your own life so sometimes it's the smallest decisions that can change your life forever. Kerry Russell, we're talking about making life choices. Stephen Covey, we are the creative force of our life. And through our own decisions, rather than our conditions, if we carefully learn to do certain things, we can accomplish those goals. Again, we are the creative force of our life. And through our own decisions, rather than our conditions, if we carefully learn to do certain things, we can accomplish those goals. What is it that you want? What is it that you want, Brian? Morning, Brian. What do you want in your life? What do you want your life to be? Where do you want to be one year, five years, ten years from now? Where do you want to be when you finally decide, you know what? I, I think I'm going to take it easy from now on. Some of us are closer to that than others. If you're just starting your life, if you're young, you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, you still got decades ahead of you. What do you want to do? And is what you're doing right now getting you to where you want to go? Are the circumstances in your life right now in the right path or proceeding in the proper path to get you where you want to go, to get you what you need to have when you ultimately decide, you know, I'm good. I'm done. I've worked all my life. I'm, I think I'm going to enjoy. Enjoy the rest of my life. What are you doing right now? And, and you are the one who is the creator of your life. Sometimes we feel like we have no choice. Sometimes we feel like we have no control. We have no, you know, say in what our future is going to be. Is that what you want your life to be? We are the creative force of our life. And through our own decisions, 
rather than our conditions. If we carefully learn to do certain things, we can accomplish those goals. Stephen Covey. Tony Robbins, your life changes the moment you make a new, congruent, and committed decision. Your life changes the moment you make a new, congruent, and committed decision. What decisions are you making? Are you Have you given up on deciding things that are better for you? Have you given up on, on choosing things that are better for you or beneficial to your situation? Have you gotten to that point where it almost seems like we're worn down? It's like we're born with all this excitement and energy and ideas just kind of shooting out from us and all that. And then we're kind of smoothed out. Our rough edges are smoothed out. Not allowing us to forge ahead. Not allowing us to take risks. Not allowing us to to decide something for ourselves and just not settle. Not be comfortable. Not just ride the, the current. Your life changes the moment you make a new, congruent, and committed decision. Tony Robbins, is today the day that you make a decision? Is this moment, the moment you make a decision to change your life? That's up to you. It's not up to me. Brittany Murphy, life presents you with many decisions. A lot of times they're right in front of your face and they're really difficult. But we must make them. Indecision is a killer, man. Indecision. Just not deciding to do something. By, what does the song say? By choosing not to decide, you still made a choice. Probably ruined that as well. But by choosing not to decide, you've made, you still have made a choice. Life presents you with so many decisions. A lot of times they're right in front of your face and they're really difficult. But we must make them. Otherwise, circumstance or someone else will make the decision for you and the outcome and the choice may not be the choice you wanted. May not be the choice that you deserve. You deserve to make the choice in your own life. Why? Because it's your life. Why are you going to allow someone else to make the decisions in your life? To dictate what your life is going to be. You are not weak. You are built around a core of strength. That who you are is built upon. On that core of strength is, is, is life, experience, heartbreak, difficulties, success, sadness, joy, accomplishment. All of that around a core of strength that makes you, you. You need to tap into that core of strength and decide what you want your life to be. And you choose. Life presents you with so many decisions. A lot of times they're right in in front of your face. And they're really difficult. But we must make them. Brittany Murphy. Edwin Markham. Oh, wow. (laughs) I never thought about it like this. Choices are the hinges of destiny. A little deep. I mean, six words. But think about it. Your choice decides where your destiny lies. Where your life is going to lead. You know what the interesting thing about that? The, the hinge isn't an A and B. It's not a zero and a one. It's not an on and an off. It's all these gradients in between that are all choices. Because we have so many choices to make in our life. There's such a multitude, an infinite multitude of choices in our life that we make every single day. Every single moment we're alive is a chance of rebirth. That's what I say. That's my quote. Choices are the hinges of destiny. Where are you going to, where's that door going to go? Which way are you going to open that door? And you have to open that door. Otherwise, somebody else is going to open the door and shove you through it. And then you got to deal with whatever is there, right? Lion or freedom. Elizabeth Kubler Ross. I believe that we are solely responsible for our choices. And we have to accept the consequences of every deed, word, and thought throughout our lifetime. Wonderful. 
one word I think that is glossed over in this quote. I'm going to read it one more time, and I want you to think, what word is glossed over here? I believe that we are solely responsible for our choices, and we have to accept the consequence of every deed, word, and thought throughout our lifetime. The one word to me, the one word I feel is glossed over is thought. Every thought throughout our, our, our lifetime. You know why? Because what you think, you become. And if all your, your thoughts are on how your life is terrible or how you're never going to be able to accomplish anything or how you're just destined to be like, you know, the rest of your family has been or if you've been in a terrible situation or you, if you feel there's some sort of, you know, no one in your family has ever succeeded, that's where you will be because you have not changed your thoughts. You have not taken hold of your thoughts and decided to focus them on what you want them to be. Read The Science of Getting Rich. Read The Science of Getting Rich. You've got to. It, it's all about thought and manifesting and, and all that. It's, it's incredible. I highly recommend it. I believe that we are solely responsible for our choices. And we have to accept the consequences of every deed. Word. That's another one. And thought throughout our lifetime. Words, words that we say to other people, words that we allow to affect who we are, words that we tell ourselves, we have to accept the consequences of every single one throughout our lifetime. Is your life not where you want it to be? Is it due to some deed, some word, or some thought? of yours or maybe a multitude of them that have led you to where you are now and what can you do to change that take take hold of your future that was elizabeth kubler ross brandon boyd says i think that there is something beautiful about mortality it makes our decisions mean more you got one life to live how do you want to live it? How do you want to live it? Do you want to live it with no control? Do you want to live it with no say in what your life is going to be? Do you want to live it with no dreams or hope of, of, of better times? No actions to get you on the right road to where you deserve to have your life lead you? It's a beautiful life. And we have one life. I've lost friends. I've lost family members. I almost, <laughs> I had a couple close calls. Not near death, I had a couple close calls. To kind of put into perspective one of them, uh, I found my, myself with my car, a very small car, trapped underneath a turning 18-wheeler where the trailer was hitting my car right above my uh, my door jam, and the back wheels were right there, and if the trailer did not stop, probably would have run over me right where I sat. The truck stopped. People stopped the truck. That was scary. People pass. I think that there's something beautiful about mortality. It makes our decisions mean more. Brandon Boyd, take that for what that is. Jim Rohn, it doesn't matter which side of the fence you get off on sometimes. What matters most is getting off. You cannot make progress without making decisions. Can you make wrong decisions? Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with making wrong decisions. Make a decision. Again, going back to choosing not to decide, you still made a choice. I'm not doing anything. Don't stand for anything. You're going to fall for something. <clears throat> doesn't matter which side of the fence you get off on sometimes. What matters most is getting off. You cannot make progress without making decisions. Jim Rohn. John Maxwell. Life is a matter of choices. And every choice you make makes you. Booyah! Wow, that's a good one. 
every choice you make makes you. I decided to go into the Navy. I decided to study to get my life insurance license. I decided to study to get my securities license. Every I decided not to go to college. All these things have affected me negatively and positively. I decided that. I decided to not get married until I met the, the right person, and I did. Every choice you make makes you. I decided not to get into an argument. I decided not to get into an altercation. Thank God, right? They cut me off. I decided not to get into a road rage, whatever. Life is a matter of choices. Every choice you make makes you. John Maxwell. Thornton, Thornton Wilder. The more decisions that you are forced to make alone, the more you are aware of your freedom to choose. The more decisions you are forced to make alone, the more you are aware of your freedom to choose. You choose. Don't let someone choose everything for you. Don't allow, don't give up that power. You, that power is yours and yours alone. You choose for you. You choose the consequences of that choice. You choose the you you're going to become because of your choices. You choose. Don't let somebody decide who you're going to be, what you're going to do, what your life is going to look like. Take it. Take control. The more decisions you are forced to make alone, the more you are aware of your freedom to choose. Thornton Wilder. Neil Bortz. The key to accepting responsibility for your life is to accept the fact that your choices, every one of them, are leading you inexorably to either success or failure. However, you define those terms. You define what success is. You define what failure is. And every single choice you make are leading you in that direction. If you decide, you know, I want to drink every night. I want to drink every night till I pass out. Where is that going to lead you? The key to accepting responsibility for your life is to accept the fact that your choices, every one of them, are leading you inexorably to either success or failure. And there's that caveat. However, you define those terms. What if success is just being able to live your life without any conflict or as little conflict as possible and just kind of go through your day and come home and sit back and read, have a nice dinner, go to sleep early? Whatever, however you define your success or your failure, every one of your choices are leading you towards there. Great quote, Neil Bortz. Last couple, Don Yeager. Decisions are the frequent fabric of our daily design. They all have a common thread. Oh, get it? Fabric, thread? All right. <laughs> Decisions are the frequent fabric of our daily design. The common thread in all these is we are the ones who design our future. We choose how to design our future. If we so decide, if we so choose, again, it goes down to who is making the decisions in your life. If we take on the responsibility of making the choices in our life, if we accept that responsibility and the consequences therein, we are designing our future. Decisions are the frequent fabric of our daily design. Don Yeager. Last one. Here we go. Graham Brown. Life is about choices. Some we regret. Some we're proud of. Some will haunt us forever. That was an arrow to my heart. Wow. Didn't expect that one. The message. 
We are what we cho chose to be. Life is about choices. Some we regret. Some we're proud of. Some will haunt us forever. The message. We are what we chose to be. Choose today to be the best version of yourself. Don't look back in your life. What was it? I don't want to look back and see. I was the 80% version of me. Or lesser. Can you imagine? You see some people living their life. You're like, man, they're living life 100%. Yeah, I can almost guarantee you they're not living life 100%. They're just at another level from where you are. And you may think you're only living your life at 50%, but you're actually doing better. Maybe you're doing worse. But life is about choices. Some we regret. Some we're proud of. Some will haunt us forever. The message, we are what we chose to be. We are what we choose to be. Choose to be a force for good in the world. Choose to be a source of positivity in your family, in your community, in your city, in, in, in the world. Be a human of positivity. We need more people bringing that into the world to counterbalance the evil in the world, the negativity in the world. What side are you on? It's as simple as that. There's a choice you want to make. What side are you on? Do you want to be an agent of chaos and negativity? Or do you want to be someone who brings positivity into the world and be a better person? I leave that choice up to you. I thank you today for joining me. I thank you if you joined me live. I thank you if you are watching this on replay. Please share the video if you get a chance. I appreciate it. Let's get this message out to as many people as possible as we talk about quotes about making life choices. Knowledge is power. Imagination is king. Intelligence, your weapon. Read a good book today. Enrich your mind. I had a wonderful day today. I hope to be back on Monday at 8 a.m. And I hope you join me. You can check all these videos out on my YouTube page, youtube.com slash algeman1, A-L-G-A-E-M-A-N-1. I'll post the link on the uh, comments as well. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. And until the next time, we'll be talking.